TV book. Man tries to hail a plane on Brave New World. <laughs> Hitler faced clock on Antiques Roadshow. How come you've got this fantastic German table regulator? This clock has been handed down through my family for about five generations. Um, <laughs> and dirty weekend in Plymouth for Elliot Don Fairground Attractions. Five days after the London riots, Elliot is cutting his losses. A slot has opened up at a Plymouth event almost 200 miles away, and he's managed to quickly fill it with his sizzler. <laughs> Little England now, where we caught up with Andy and Nicky. This is Andy and Nicky Spillane, alpaca farmers who sold their home in Norfolk and moved to France in 1998. Traitors! <laughs> Welcome back to the Dordogne a part of France that's become home to over 20,000 British expats. Traitors! <laughs> My husband and I have worked for a long time in, in other countries. We decided when we retired that we would prefer to have a warm climate. It's not that I don't like the UK, I love it. Traitors! <laughs> Weather not good enough for you. It was good enough for Winston Churchill and Lord Nelson and Her Majesty the Queen <laughs> and Wayne Rooney and... <laughs> Katie Price and <laughs> Kerry Katona and Rebecca Brooks and oh, Camilla Parker Bowles and Frankie Cacosa. Oh, yeah. I don't blame you. Yeah. Yeah. Put me a ticket on Eurostar one way. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> Sally had moved out there four years ago and had a keen interest in keeping bees. Why do I do beekeeping? I've no idea. They sting you, they don't give you any honey. You sure they're bees, Sally? <laughs> You're not keeping wasps, are you? <laughs> Which brings us to our best way to mark a competition drawing to a close of the week. Best way to mark a competition drawing to a close of the week. Five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> Kirsty's Handmade Britain now, and this week Kirsty was attending to matters horticultural. We are a nation of garden lovers. On average, we each spend around £20,000 on them during our lifetime. Around 16 million of us are lucky enough to have a garden, and many who don't are cultivating window boxes or allotments. And many more are sitting at home watching Cash in the Attic and pigging out on crisps. <laughs> This week, Kirsty was making rosemary shortbread. This is the calm before the storm, but one ingredient is missing, rosemary. So I'm going to run out in the rain, grab some and come back in again. Don't move. OK. Told you I'd be back. Oh, thank God for that. <laughs> <laughs> so, how's the shortbread coming along? It's a nice thickness. Now, obviously, I want to taste it, but if there's one missing, does that disqualify you? Oh! Oh, no. Well, no, I'll have to taste that one, won't I? <laughs> it may taste good to me, but I'm taking a huge gamble with the rosemary and lavender. I've got uneven wedges and a missing piece. Uh-oh! <laughs> it was a huge gamble. Now she's ended up with uneven edges and a missing piece. So that's the one that's missing one. All the other shortbread is traditional, and taking a risk is starting to feel like a bad idea. But my problems are about to get even bigger. Problems are about to get even bigger! <laughs> she's only bought one lot of rosemary, and she's going to have to submit a round of rosemary one word short. <laughs> got two batches of lavender, but only one of rosemary, because I broke one of the wedges. Unfortunately, I brought the wrong batch. So I'm going to have to submit a round of rosemary with one wedge short. 
Well, it certainly puts the crisis in the Middle East into perspective. <laughs> A very British party now, available to view on Richard and Judy's old channel, Watch. And Vanessa was busy organising her four-year-old son's birthday, and she threw the book at it. I'm having all this done because it's your party and because I want to look nice for your party. What? Nothing to do with my own vanity, of course. Of course. OK, off we go for it. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. <laughs> Meanwhile, husband Peter was busy planning his own surprise to fire a gun to get the party started with a bang. But you have to be careful how much gunpowder you use. So I've put in little just to be on the safe side. And then I can try with a bit more if um, it has made a loud enough bang. Yeah, just a little powder in there, Peter. We don't want too big a bang. Yep, I still fit. Now. <laughs> Has he gone? <laughs> Which brings us to our TV highlight of the week. There are some great shows on TV at the moment about hotels and bed and breakfasts. Over on Four in a Bed, Dave certainly seemed to be enjoying himself. It's a nice soft bed. <laughs> the soft is in bad work. Why not? Treat yourself, mate. <laughs> then, of course, there's a similar show, May the Best House Win, which this week was in Manchester. Let's see what's going down. <laughs> Nothing much. <laughs> there were some real characters involved this week. I go by the name of Joyce Division. You don't see the beard as a problem then, Joyce. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see him in action. When routine bites hard, and additions are loose, and resentment cries yeah, fitting tribute and true keepers of the Joy Division flame. <laughs> um, welcome them now, ladies and gentlemen, from Manchester. It's Joyce Division. When routine fights hard and ambitions are low. Thank you, Joyce. <laughs> That's all from us. Good night.